challenger unbeaten in 13 contests lester ellis of australia scheduled 12 rounder and that action is coming up shortly but now ringside we've got a special presentation rod yes it's the minister for youth sport and recreation uh, the honorable neil Trezise, and he's making the announcement that johnny famishon has been invited to uh, join the uh, boxing board of control and uh, i couldn't imagine anybody who is uh, better qualified to uh, join that uh, board than uh, john famishon uh, the former world champion uh, and there's also a, a presentation to be made uh, by the boxing fraternity to jack dunn who for so many years reported boxing for the uh, for the sun the melbourne sun and uh, jack has uh, retired retired last weekend and as a gesture uh, of uh, appreciation by the boxing fraternity uh, it couldn't have been a better night to do it on this commonwealth uh, title night that the presentation is being made uh, to Jack Dunn at uh, ringside after the announcement had been made by the minister that uh, John Famishon would be joining the uh, the boxing board of control. Well, both of them have given enormous service uh, to the sport of boxing, and both receive a warm hand from this very good crowd that's uh, packed Festival Hall tonight, We're looking well in excess of uh, probably three and a half thousand people. And the main reason they've come is for the action between John Sashula and Lester Ellis. We should be seeing them coming down to the ring in just a moment. Yep. Uh, and, uh, now, your boy has had 14 fights. His last 14 fights entitled only 46 rounds. Just how good is he? You've said it. He's very good. It's been described in the publicity that he has a murderous punch. Can you describe that murderous punch? Well, I hope you'll be present on the evening of the 16th of Feb of um, this month to see for yourself. I mean, uh, um, a punch is a punch, and a murderous punch is something different. And the only way of describing it is for you to be there to see it. Well, I'll definitely be there. Right. But how long do you expect Lester to stay with him in the ring? Well, uh, we don't really underrate opponents, but if records are anything to go by, and if the standard of fight we saw last night on video uh, of uh, Graham, Brooks. Graham Brooks and Noel, uh, uh, the, the Trinidad fellow, if there's anything to go by, well, I would think that Lester would be slightly too slow for John. Uh, do you think that Lester is, moves at the same speed as Graham Brook? Well, I have not been in Australia before and I have not watched any live show here except a few on videos, but uh, I could only take standards from what I have seen. If uh, Graham was your star and he's won the Commonwealth Lightweight title, he's bound to be good here on the local mm -hmm. scene. And if that is the standard, I think that the, uh, Lester will have a, a little bit of trouble catching up with John. Well, let's talk to John now. Obviously, with that past record, John, you go into this fight chock a block full of confidence. No, I don't entertain my opponents also. I respect opponents before I see them in the first round, but enough of that, I take charge. You take charge? Yes. What happens if you lose this fight? It's a possibility. I'm winning this fight. I can't wait to defend it. Yes, but if you lose it, what happens? I don't know. I, I know. Well, could you tell us? I know. If, if it is possible that John will lose this fight, then, like I said before, there will be no sunshine in Melbourne for the next uh, six months. to be gloved up and we'll be back at ringside in just a moment. The Richmond 1984. We get uh, that Grand Prix action from Calder Park coming your way on 7 on Sunday. But at the moment, uh, it's really the opening of a massive sporting weekend, one, isn't it, for us? Yes, uh, this is the Commonwealth uh, Junior Lightweight Championship coming up now, 12 three-minute rounds. Tomorrow, of course, Sandown Cup and highlights from the National Panasonic uh, Women's uh, Tennis Tournament in uh, Brisbane. The semi-finals tomorrow afternoon. The final on uh, Saturday afternoon, followed by the Grand Prix from uh, Sunday afternoon with the Grand Prix also later in the afternoon. Now, the man on the left of your screen in the white trunks, John Sashula, has confidently predicted since he arrived here that he's going to knock this man, Lester Ellis, out in less than five rounds. 
He's been unswayed in that prediction, both he and uh, manager Gibson Nuosu. I saw Lester Ellis fight an American, uh, Richie Fowler, uh, who had gone the distance with the American champion before he'd come to, uh, before he'd come to Melbourne to fight uh, Ellis. And he put Ellis down in the seventh round. And Ellis got up off the floor and stopped him in the last. And uh, I thought that was a great performance by uh, Ellis. This is going to be a tough one tonight. You're seeing the champion there, John Sashula, with the right glove being laced by Gibson uh, Nursu. He looks pretty strong, doesn't he? He looks as though he knows his way around a boxing yes. ring. He, he, he is looking at this fight as a step into the American scene. And, of course, there have been so many good fighters come from Africa. We see that in the fight, always a traumatic experience for a fighter. He's particularly having to do it in the sauna. It's always tough for a fighter. It's always a great test for him if he's got to make weight on the morning of the fight. So there's some hassle in the, in the white corner. The champion, John Sashula for tonight's contest. Not the bull of the referee, Gus McCurry, Cliff Heaver, the other two judges. from Schoolboy Tanago this year. Unbeaten 18 professional contests, 15 KOs, trained and managed by Lieutenant Colonel Gibson Nwoso. Also scaling 58.9 kilos, the champion from Zambia, John Sakula. Your referee, accredited by the World Boxing Council, Malcolm Bulma. Well, the big question mark, of course, has uh, Lester Ellis stepped up too quickly? Right, boys, I've given you instructions in the dressing room. Just to remind you, I want a clean fight. You right. must punch clean the knuckle part of your gloves to score points within the scoring region. I don't want any punches in the back of the head, no punches in the kidney region. When you get close, watch those heads. When I say break, you must step back and don't punch at the break. Is that clear? If I give you a down from a punch, then you're on its two feet to the furthest neutral corner. That's the one in or the one in front there. And you must stay in there till I finish the count. Is that clear? Right, remember, I will be yelling for the instructions while the fight's in progress. Don't stop. Unless I say break or stop. Remember, break yourselves at all times. Shake hands now. Go back to my fighting in the belt. May the best man win. Good luck, boys. So we're set to go for this Commonwealth Junior Lightweight Championship fight. John Sashula and Lester Ellis. Sashula and Ellis. Judge for 12 rounds. Great watch on. Both orthodox stands. We saw uh, Graham Brook win the Commonwealth Lightweight title here a fortnight ago. Now the chance for the other bright star on Australia's fisting horizon, Lester Ellis, to equal the performance by resting a Commonwealth title. So his opponent is younger, tougher, hungrier. His ambition, his career ahead of him. Ellis, similar ambition, career ahead of him. Who's it to be? Both can punch. Ellis, watching out left hand, looking a little edgy. Tries that left hook. Here's a puncher, here's a fighter. Certainly. Sashula is a neater, better balanced fighter by far than his countryman, the ten rounder. Just 
waving the left hand at his opponent. Feel each other out. We've just passed the halfway mark of this first round. Schedule 12. Schuler fairly relaxed about it all. He's not making any unnecessary moves with his left. Just looking at his opponent. Ellis came in and tried a short left hook. Missed. on the right glove. He obviously knows his way around the boxing ring. Very compact little fighter. Ellis, rangier. Just a little, I think, just a little loose with that left hand, the way he's waving it around. I don't think he's going to box the shielder. Despite the way, the way he works the right hand. At least not this early in the fight. Ellis. He's back. He's lead well short of the target. Ten seconds remaining. First round. I'll say the first round's pretty even because neither has done anything. As the bell goes for the end of round one. Our good friends, uh, our good friend Neil Nilsson, he was with us at ringside so often, so uh, through TV ringside, and good to see uh, he and Ross up there at Berwick and still uh, involved in our boxing programs. Good luck to you, Neil. And here it is, the tail of the tape, and it tells us, chest-wise, Ellis, 86 and a half centimetres, Sashula, 82, and it's expanded, 91, Ellis, 86, Sashula. We might have a look at those a little bit later on, because seconds out, box on. into round two. Malcolm Bullner, the referee, orders them to box on. Well, they didn't do much in the first round. And obviously, each having a good getting down to the business. Zellis scores with a left hook. This is Lester Ellis challenging John Sisula for Sisula's Commonwealth Junior Lightweight title. Nice jab with the left hand and uh, put the points in that short exchange. Ellis, a shade taller and uh, rangier. More active up to this point. His opponent looking just a shade slower. Slightly outreached. Up he comes again, he slips. Seen. Right hand that time by Sashula. Goes after Ellis again. Misses. Ellis staying in close. by Satula, or by his manager. Well, he did bring it down to two, Ron. I think that's yeah. looking horrible at the moment. Left into the body that time by Ellis. Satula coming up to Ellis again. Five seconds remaining in the second round. Ellis <laughs> came off the ropes. He let that short right hand go, but uh, missed the target.
Rick. Bell for the end of round two. Well, uh, we'll just see what happens. I think uh, Ellis is being a bit, care a bit careful. Uh, I think that Sashula is really trying to punch, but uh, Ellis is moving pretty nimbly, and he's a very difficult opponent at the moment. Ellis moves in hard now, the right to the body and left to the body, and left hook to the head by Ellis. He wants to have a go now. Here he goes. After Sashula, he thinks he can... Uh, Shake the champion up, and he did just that. They were well-placed body punches. Sashua obviously looks as though he will relish a punching exchange. Good right hand that time by Ellis. Ray Styles in the corner shouting for Ellis to have a ping at him. But Sashua has taken those punches pretty easily, or pretty comfortably. And he's back in there close at Pat Ellis. Ellis with a right to the body and just missed with the following left hook. Left hand lead, that left into the body by uh, Ellis again. Sashula back, but he's being beaten to the punch by, by Ellis uh, in the early stages of this third round. The range here, Ellis, punching more accurately and faster. Right hand by Ellis. Beating Sasula for the punch again. Good uppercut by Sasula. Jab by Sasula again. Outreached by Ellis, but got into a good position for that punch. They've took by Sasula. Ellis back there in the red corner and away along the ropes he goes. She'll have placed those punches pretty well. Look now by Ellis. Seconds remaining. Third round. Ellis taking points well early in the round. Sashula hasn't really equaled the score yet. There goes Ellis. Oh, a left hook by Sashula. That hurt Ellis. A good punch. That was a good punch. And Ellis holds on. One thing about Ellis, when he's stung, he really wants to fight. And that could be dangerous against this fella. He can obviously punch a little. He hurt Ellis with that left hook. That was a big left hook by Sashula. Ellis holding on, close to the end of, this th of the third round. Good punch by uh, Ellis. He fights back again at Sashula. Sashula did hurt him with that left hook. There's no doubt about it. Oh, he just missed that time. And the bell to the end of Very, very well. And then this is what happened. Bang. Right on the button, that one. It was a nasty left hook. He was uh, taking the points well in the round, and uh, then that one came along and uh, sort of uh, changed things a little. He's back in the corner. It looks okay. Ray Styles there talking to him. Second out, round four. He, got, seconds out, he was decked in that fight with uh, the American, the Richie Fowler, at Melbourne Town Hall. Got up off the floor and really fought his way out of trouble and finished up stopping his opponent. Some trouble over in the corner with the water spilled on the map. Malcolm Bull, the calls from the centre ring, and away they go in this, the fourth round. It was a very neat left hook from uh, John Sassula. Oh. Ellis, the left hook turns Sassula away. Beats him for punch again with a good left hand. Sahula shooting that right hand. He's really looking for that right hand counter to Ellis's left lead. As Ellis cut off in the corner. Invasion by Ellis off the ropes. But there's more coming his way. Right hand 
time by Sakula. Don't hold, don't hold. Get free, get free, come on, get free. Watch his head, watch his head, watch the back of the head. Once again, Skula trying to top, they cut uh, Ellis off in the corner, Ellis holds get free, get free. on. Ellis not looking quite as confident in this round. Watch your head, right watch your head. Don't hold. Hey, bring it, bring it, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Step back. Good, good, good. Watch on. Bulmer maintaining control as we pass the two-minute mark of this fourth round. Good right hand that watch time by Ellis as uh, on. Sakura came in on top of him. Come on, break. Watch well, it's obviously still a little uncertain after that big punch in the previous round. Got him right on the chin. Sakula bouncing his head around in close, and they're both getting a reprimand from the referee. Well, Sakula particularly uh, a little perturbed about the holding on that he believes Ellis is doing. Sakula trying to punch in close, Ellis trying to hold on. Referee looking pretty hard. Oh, it's a good body punch by Ellis. That was a good punch. Ellis with a right to the head. They were good punches by the challenger. Goes after Sakula again. Punch him high on the hills. A good body punch. Sakula back with the left hook. As the bell goes for the end of a very good fourth round of the finish. John Sakula and his team have said uh, we'll finish the fight. Round five. It's been in progress just 15 seconds. Manager Gibson Nuasu has been confident all week it will not go beyond five. Well, this is it. This is the round, and um, it will be up to uh, the cooler to uh, make that boast good in this fifth round. And he's trying, he let go both hands, but missed. Here he comes again, and this time Ellis hits him with a right to the, to the body and then a right to the head. The cooler at him again. Ellis jabbing with the left hand. Sakula let up with the lead. One minute gone, fifth round. Ella still fighting from a good balance. He's right up on his front foot. Jabs well. Sakula outreached. He's got to take a couple of risks to get in close. We're getting closer. Jab again by Ellis. Euler comes up close, but he's uh, unable to score. And Ellis goes with a left end of the body. Jabs exchanged. Keep working, keep working, come on. Come on, keep working there. Watch your head. Right to the head by Ellis, left into the body by Ellis. Jabs again. Time by Sakula took Ellis up. Ellis holding on. One minute remaining. That hurt a bit, that one. Right hand now by Sakula, the fifth. The round in which he, uh, he forecast he'd end the fight. And he certainly hurt Ellis with that right hand to the head. Up he comes again to the Victorian challenger. Ellis belts him with the left hand into the body. Stays right, in on. close. Get on three. Keep working there. Come on, let's see. Holding. Get on three. Come on, break. Step back. Don't hold. Ellis working the left hand, using his uh, advantage and reach. Trying to keep Sakula at bay. Left into the body by uh, Ellis. Right, come on, keep working there. Keep working there. Keep 15 going. seconds remaining. Come on, five. Get on free. Get on free. Looks as though it's not going to happen for Sakula in the fifth. Not much He's in this tried. round, but Ellis perhaps just by a margin, by a very narrow margin in this round. Sakula certainly scored the biggest punch of the round. Rick. Good right hand of his conscious of what might happen to him in the fifth, and it very nearly did right there. Good right hand of the head, but that was the highlight of the round as far as Sakula was concerned, and I thought that uh, Ellis would have pinched the points by a narrow margin in the round because he punched, he, he landed more punches, and although he made his work a little by holding, uh, I thought he scored, uh, he scored, Rick, no, no, scored more leather than, than did the corners, champion in the uh, fifth round. This is the sixth coming up, Rick, round six. Both fairly anxious to get on with it. 
and the referee having to uh, just wait for the bell. Oh, good short right hand by Secure. That was a good one. Ellis back. Punching hard. Both hands to the head. Just joined us. This is the Commonwealth Junior Lightweight Championship with uh, John Secula of Zambia defending his title against Lester Ellis. The challenger from uh, Sunshine, Victoria. Both unbeaten in their professional careers. Lester Ellis with 13 fights behind him and the Junior Lightweight Champion, John Secula, with 18 behind him. Oh, good right hand by Secula. That was a good punch. He just missed with the left hand. Back comes Ellis with a left rip to the body. A lively exchange over in the referee's corner. Ellis jabs that left hand again. Secula comes in, missed with the right, follow up with a good left hook. Round six of a scheduled ten rounder. Dead to the body, left hook to the head by Ellis. Oh, good right hand that time by Secure, and he's hurt Ellis again. Ellis comes in close, gets his act together. Got one hurt. Goes after Ellis again. Ellis back to the ropes. Secula slips in the corner and Ellis in on top of him. Don't hold, don't hold. Go on, get a free. Go on, Ellis. Get a free, get a free. Get a free. Break, break, break. Don't punch. Break, break, break. Come on, get a free. Box on. Go on, keep on free, keep on free. Don't hold. Come on, keep working there. Break, break. Don't punch. Don't punch. Ellis Let's is landing. Punch. A lot of punches, but he's certainly not hurting the champion as much as the champion's hurting him when he really finds them. When, when Secula finds the target, he really shakes Ellis up. Ellis goes right, goes right foot forward, doesn't help much. Short clubbing right hand in close by Secula. 20 seconds to go, sixth round. Another right hand by Secula, and Ellis comes in close again. Right hand by Ellis. Ellis, I think. Showing just a watch little sign of desperation here as he oh, throws oh, everything oh. into a right and left hand combination. In this, the sixth round. Left into the body by Ellis. Secula walks straight. As I say, he's landing more leather, but uh, the punches that really are the tough ones, that, like that one, they're short, clubbing, hard punches, and every one time one of those lands, uh, it's Ellis who has to really uh, hold on. He, he uh, there was a, as I said in the, uh, during the round, there was just a touch of desperation about Ellis's work. Uh, in the second half of that round. Well, here we go into the seventh. Second half of the fight now. Six rounds gone. And up comes Secula with right and left of the head. Ellis trying to punch with him. And they go hammer and tongs at centre ring for the moment. Ellis after him now with that left hand lead. Come on, give me up, give me up. I think in hard in hard points scored, probably Ellis is just a shade ahead. But uh, Secula obviously wants to wipe that out pretty quickly as he goes after Ellis in the seventh round. Alert. Now, whether that was a clash of heads, well, they're calling the doctor to have a look at that uh, cut look at that. above Ellis's cut. eye. Stop it. No, no, don't stop it. Box on. Clash of heads there, and Ellis has got a bit of a mark on the left eye. Secula scores with a right to the head and the left hook to the head. Come on, don't hold, don't hold. Get a free. Secula stays in close. Go punch. Break. Box on. Hard right hand by Secula. Don't hold, don't hold, get a free, come on, get a free. Right there, right there. Up comes Sakula again, he's really putting the pace on now. Ellis ducks away, scores with left of the body. Right, don't hold, come on, keep, keep working, keep working. Ellis come holding on. on. Keep working, get a free, come on, get a free, get a free. Break, break. Sakula goes to the right to the head. And the referee having a word to Sakula for punching on the break. Left and right now by Ellis. Here comes Sakula, Ellis trying to hold on. Punches again, left and right to the body, and for the first time he's hurt Sakula. For the first time, he hurt him. Oh. Left foot now by, by Ellis. The crowd roaring for the boy for Sunshine to go on with it. Don't hold, watch your head, watch your head. Bring it up, bring it up, come on, don't hold, bring it up. 
Ela é mexida da left hook. Don't hold, don't hold. Oh, a hard left hook. Nice. It's getting pretty rough in there now. And I think Malcolm Buller, the referee, has got a big job ahead of him because it is really rough at close quarters. Hard left hook now by Sakula. Ellis stumbles into the clinch. Bring it up. Go punch. Go punch the break. 50 seconds of this round to go, and it's been the toughest round of the fight by far. Don't hold. Don't hold. Keep looking. No. Break. 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 Watch your head. Watch out. Trickle of blood coming down from the, from the nick on the left eyebrow. On Ellis's left eyebrow. 25 seconds remaining. Seventh round. Hard right hand by Ellis after uh, Sakula scored with a left hook. It's really getting tough now. Right hand by Ellis, but he falls back into the referee's corner. Come on, And the bell goes. Toughest round of the fight thus far. Round seven and Lester Ellis uh, with that cut above the left eye, but it appeared, Ron, as though that was from a clash of heads. Yes, I think it was. Um, and it, it, it's not a, uh, causing him any problem at all. Although the referee naturally uh, did ask uh, for, the, for medical opinion as to whether it was OK. There's uh, Ellis going in after Secula. And for the only time in the fight, I think that he's really hurting with a punch. And he did hurt him. There's no doubt about that. Right, well, here we go into the eighth. The scheduled 12 rounder. Not much in the fight now as uh, Sekula's had a couple of good uh, point scoring rounds. Right, don't hang on, don't hang on, keep working, come on. Ellis goes to the left hook, so too does Watch Sekula. your sets, watch your sets. Both punching freely. Ellis had the better of that exchange. Right hand of the head now by Ellis. Sekula off the, off the ropes. Sekula obviously reasoning, uh, realizing this fight is pretty close and he's increasing the pressure on the young challenger. Sekula <laughs> after going. Fairly slowly in the early part of the fight is really stepping on the pace now. Punching hard with a right to the head and left to the body. Ellis. Back in the corner. Comes out of the corner with both hands, but you know, stumbles, stumbles into the clinch. Keep looking, come on, keep looking. Leads by Ellis. Goes to the body, left hook around the back of his opponent's head. Come on, keep watch your hands. Don't hold, don't hold. Get free, come on, get free. Come on, keep working, don't hold, don't hold. Keep working, man. Girl are punching from too far away, and it's Ellis. Uh, who scores the point for the left ball. Back comes Sakula, however. Beautiful left into the body that time by Ellis. That was a punch. Goes with right to the head. Sakula's back in the corner. Ellis trying to nail him now. That was a punch. Right hand now by Ellis. That's a big punch. He's got Sakula back on the ropes. And the challenger raining over. But Sakula cool out of the corner and back into centre ring. We have a fight here at Festival Hall in Melbourne for the Commonwealth Junior Lightweight title. Lester Ellis, is, Lester Ellis is challenging with everything he knows. And he has the champion back in the red corner. Brains leather at him. Up he comes again. Good left hand jab by Sakula. Right hand by Ellis. Get a free, get a free, come on, get a free, come on, get a free. Right, box on. Up comes Ellis again at Sakula. He's after Sakula. Sakula in retreat now. Back he goes. Into the body goes Ellis, left and right to the body, out punching the champion. Oh, a left hook there by Sakula. There's a punch there. Ellis just doesn't want to be too foolish and fall for the sucker punch. Four seconds to go. This has been a good round by Lester Ellis. The bell for a great round by the challenger from Sunshine, Lester Ellis. I was wondering whether that uh, effort of taking weight off this morning was starting to be felt in his legs and in his hands. Uh, whether they were getting heavy and his legs getting slower. But by golly, he gave the lie to that. 
in the eighth round. Here they come for the ninth. Ninth of twelve. They're fighting for the Commonwealth, uh, the Commonwealth uh, Junior Lightweight title. Ellis. After Sekula. The lead by Ellis. Sekula away from the ropes. Left into the body and a right to the head by Ellis. Right hand counter by Sekula. He doesn't want to get careless, Ellis, because if he does against an experienced fighter like this, long amateur career, short professional career, but he knows a bit about it, Sekula. Ellis thumps the left hand into the body. And he's fighting with poison balance at the moment. Ellis up again with that left hand lead. Sekula comes in and Ellis lets that left rip go to the body once more. Keep working, keep working there. Don't hold. Come on. Get on straight. Get on straight. Break it up. Break it up. Break it. Go punch. Secure the misses with the right hand. And Ellis scores with the right to the body. Ellis keeps at it. Left and right to the body and left and right to the head. Hook to the head now by Ellis. Right, don't hold. Come on. Get on straight. Get on straight. Come on. Keep working there. Come on, Lester. Don't hold. Up comes Sekula, but uh, Ellis is back onto the ropes right, and on, makes hold, the champion. Bring it up, bring it up. Don't hold, Lester. Box on. Keep your head up, keep your head up. Come on, Lester. Come on, Lester. Come on, Lester. Right, don't hold, don't hold. Come on, get him free, get him free. Come on, Lester, get him free, get him free. Just under one minute remaining. It's crucial ninth round. Ellis by far the more accurate in that exchange. Left hook, however, by Sekula. Once again, the referee's got a shot at them. Go punch, step back. What's on? Good right hand by Sekula and left and right combination counter by Ellis. Go on, hold. Go on, hold. Come on, let's take it on straight. I think Ellis is getting a little tired, just the same. Hard right oh, hand down. by Sekula, and Ellis is back on the ropes. The left hook by Sekula, and Ellis is in trouble. Ellis desperately holding on in this ninth round. Left hook by Ellis on the break. One, two, three. The referee is putting four, the count on five, Ellis. Six, See the referee seven, calling the count. Eight, you get a seven. Ellis. Come here, fighting. Right, come on. Now the bell for the end of the round. Could be the crucial one for Lester Ellis, Ron. Yes, that was a big punch, and uh, I just had the feeling that uh, just before he landed that punch, I said that I thought he might have been getting tired. Yeah. His hands came down momentarily, and that's what happens when you drop the fight, uh, drop your hands in a big fight like this one. There's uh, the champion, uh, John Secula from Zambia, standing confidently in the corner. Up comes Lester Ellis now. Hang on, right, box on. Seconds out, three rounds to go. This is round 10. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, get on free, get on free, get on free. Secula realising that he's in a bit of trouble as far as points are concerned. There's not much in it. And that he wants to really get right on top of this young challenger. The 19-year-old challenger from Sunshine. Come on, keep looking there. Come on. Comes back and Secula goes at him with both hands. Right into the body and a right to the head. Ellis ducking and weaving. Don't hold, don't hold, get up, break. Come on, break it up, Ellis break it up, don't punch. Box on. Ooh, a right hand by Sekula. Don't hold, don't hold, don't hold. Walks straight into it, a clubbing right hand again by Sekula. Come on, don't hold. Break it up, don't punch. Break it up, don't punch, don't punch. Come on, step back, step back. Box on. Right, don't hold, don't hold, don't hold. Break it up, don't punch. Ellis caught in the corner, and Sekula nails him with the right hand. Get up, get up, get up. Come on, get on, free. Come on, this is the 10th of 12 rounds. Right hand by Secula. Ellis fights back. All right, come on, don't hold, don't hold. Get the three. Get on, free. Get on, free. Come on. Get on, free. Come on. Good right hand that time by uh, Ellis. All right, keep rocking. Come on, get on, free. Get on, free. Secula, into the, uh, Secula get on, free. makes a left grip into the body, and Ellis cuts loose again. 
Right hand by Sakura. Don't hold, don't hold, don't hold. Come on, go for it, go for it. It's a tough, hard slogging fight now. Punch. Not much punch. in it. Don't punch. Watch on. Up comes Sakula again at Ellis. Ellis with the right. Sakula stands in close. Referee calling the breakaway. Go on, hold. Go on, keep working there. Come on, keep working. Watch his head. Ellis marring his work now. I think he's getting tired. No doubt he is getting tired. He's getting very... It's going to be a long run home for Ellis. Left hook by Sakula. Keep working. Keep working. Watch Just a minute to go, Ron. Ellis, Ellis tries to match Sakula with his punching left and right, but Sakula back with a right to the head. Jab by Sakula. Ellis pushes him back into the corner. Punches left and right and a good double with the head. He's got Sakula back on the ropes now. Clyde may be, but he's finding something. He's finding plenty. Go on, hold on, get off it, get off it, get off it. Come on, get off it. Come on, get off it. Get off it. What's up? 30 seconds of the tenth to go. placed himself very well through the fight back in the corner. Ellis who undoubtedly is very tired. Cuts loose again. Tries to land those knockout punches with Sakula back in the corner. Jab by Sakula. Ellis tied as the bell goes. The bell goes. Well, what a round it was, the 10th run. And if both boys are tired, the way Ellis came back and this huge crowd at Festival Hall getting behind him certainly lifted him. Yes, he is a tired fighter, but uh, from that flurry you can see that there's still plenty of fighting heart left in him. Sekula has paced himself very well, and he looks uh, pretty fresh and strong at the moment, uh, despite the buffeting that he's Great, taken from uh, some very tough exchanges with Lester Ellis. He's got six minutes, Lester, to survive. Up for the 11th round. Left and right now as they swap punches. Left and right from Ellis were better placed than Sakula. Keep working. Come on. Go on, hold. Come on, go for it. Keep working. If anything, Ellis has marred his work a little by holding on. And uh, is it going to count against him a lot? That would count against him. Jab by Ellis. Go on, keep working now. Keep working. Left hook by Sakula, in close. Left hook by Sakula and Ellis holds him back on the right. Come on, keep working there. Keep working. Bring it up, bring it up. Don't punch, don't punch. Come on, the referee don't punch. will order them to keep working in close. And as long as they keep punching, he will allow them to stay in close. But as soon as they stop punching and lay on each other, he will order. He orders them to break. Ellis certainly made no effort to hold then. He wanted to punch. He is punching now. He's not holding. He puts Ellis, puts Sakula on the ropes and gets him on the ropes now. As he comes off the ropes. Left into the body by, uh, by Ellis. 1.42 into the 11. The lead by Sakula and a jab by Ellis. Jab by Ellis again. This is a good round by the challenger. A very good round indeed. Right and left there by Ellis. He goes. Now he's holding on. Come on, keep working. Keep working. Go free. You hear the referee telling him to keep working. While they keep working, he, he won't call for them to break. 50 seconds remaining. Round 11. Ellis at Secure. Secure scores with a right, but Ellis back with both hands to the body. Ellis obviously putting everything into the first minute of the round and then trying to hold on because he is tired. Now he goes again. That's Sakula. Has him back in the red corner. Works left and right. Right, don't hold, don't hold. It's Sakula who's on, holding on, on that time. Bring it up, bring it up. Come on, bring it up. Don't punch. The last seconds of the 11th round. Jab by Ellis again. 
Up he comes and the bell goes for the end of it. How have you got him scored? Could he become the new Commonwealth Junior Lightweight Champion? It's very close. If there's not much in it. I've got him just a whisker ahead at this stage. But um, anything can happen in this fight. And it depends a lot on how the judges see the wrestling exchanges, how they score those punches, whether they were clean scoring punches or whether they saw them as uh, scrimmaging punches. Up for the last round now. The last oh, of 12. Hands. Check hands. Check hands. Right, box on. The last round, Lester Ellis challenging for John Secula's junior lightweight Commonwealth title. That was a good round for Ellis, the 11th. The Zambian scores left and right to the body. Oh, a hard right to the head by Secula. Jab by uh, Ellis. Secula. Right, right to the head by Secula. Well, this was the way uh, Ellis started the 11th round, and now Secula is starting the last the same way. Tape. Right, box on. It's away. Box on is the call. I think Ellis has really got to win this last on, round to make on, Guthrie, Guthrie. To give himself Guthrie. the title. And obviously the champion feels that way and he's really making no mistakes in this last round. Secula jabbing that left hand accurately, scores with a good right to the head. I don't know if he's looking there. Come on, Guthrie, Guthrie, Guthrie. Left hook now by Secula. Go on, go on, go on, break, break, win, break, go punch, go punch. Right, go on, keep your head up, keep your head up. Left hook now by Ellis. Good right hand by Secula. Ellis very tired in the last round. I just wonder if the 11th was his last go. Well, he's got one and a half minutes remaining. He's obviously tired, takes left and right to the body. He's trying to hold on. He's holding on to the ropes. That's a bad sign for Ellis. Watch your heads. Watch your heads. Come on. Get free. Get free. Right hand by uh, Secula. Yeah, by... Ellis Secula comes up to him again. But Ellis down on the bottom rope comes off, runs into a right hand. Secula slips in the corner. Only a bit of water. Lead by Secula, right and left. A good left hook by Secula. Ellis backs away. No punch, no punch, no punch. Watch your head forcing down. Just on 45 seconds of the fight remaining. Keep walking, keep walking there. Ellis playing pretty careful in this last round. Right and left hook now by Secula. Hook again by Secula. Right, don't hold. Come, come free, come free, come on. Come free. Break, break, break. Go 25 punch, go seconds punch. remaining. Break, break, break. Referee has them come away from the, uh, from the clinch. Right, don't hold. Ellis keeps away from the right hand. He's back in the corner. He ducks down. Don't hold, don't hold. Come on. And break he's up, holding up, on. He's very tired. He's desperately tired. Right, Ten seconds of the, of the fight to go. Don't hold, don't hold. Secula putting everything into it and the decision. We'll wait for the judges. It's going to be close. Ellis hung on in the last round, saw it out. He might have got the decision, but we'll wait for the judges. There are three judges. Ellis desperately tired at the finish. Desperately tired. In a great, a great fight and a great... Last two rounds. The 11th round, a great fighting round by Lester Ellis. The last round, a great fighting challenge by the champion to try and get those points back in the last round. Coins showering into the ring, which is ample evidence of the way the crowd here judged the fight. A great one. Well, the point scores we tallied and then the announcements made of the judges secure back in the corner We're waiting for the announcement A really tough, hard fight with Ellis getting very tired towards the finish, making a desperate effort in the 11th round to win the fight.
to stop his opponent, unable to do so, and then having to withstand the great last round effort by uh, the champion, Secula. Dallas walking across to his opponent. There are the two of them in the corner. But a great fighting performance by the 19-year-old boy from Sunshine. The result. Thank you for that generous shower, which has taken a few chunks out of Sandy Roberts' head. Okay, we'll be reading up the scorecards, and then we'll be talking to both camps. Certainly one of the most exciting fights seen in Melbourne for many years. Another result coming now. The winning ticket for the set of gloves, well, a blue ticket, F18. F18 in a blue waiting ticket. waiting for the, the point scores to be announced. Gloves. The referee, Malcolm Bulner, Gus Mercurio, one judge, Cliff Heaver, the other judge. The fight scored on the 10-point must system. But still waiting for the announcement. Frank Quill scrutinising the scorecards. The card's still being checked. And the two boxes still waiting for the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Referee Malcolm Boulder gives it 113 Secula, 115 Ellis. 115 to 113 in favour of Ellis from the referee. Judge, Judge Gus Mercurio gives it 114 Ellis, 115 Secula. So they're the even. final and deciding card from Judge, Judge Cliff, Heaver Cliff Heaver gives it Secula 111, Ellis 116. 116 and Ellis is the winner on a split decision. Ellis the winner. Cliff Heaver scoring 116 to 111. Sandy Roberts in the ring. Lester, the champion, Lester Ellis. Congratulations, Lester. What a day it's been. You had to sweat it out in the sauna. He hit you hard in the ninth. Yes, Sandy. Had the owner sauna and I was a bloody bit sleepy for the first round. Just my legs were tired. But I tried my hardest all these years training. It was a hard fight. He's kept you know, on me all the time. But I was determined to forget about the titles and keep trying to pan away. Yeah, the Commonwealth champion. I was looking at that cut about the eye. Was that just a head clash? Oh, he got me with a good right hand, Sandy. In the, during the fight. He says he could punch very hard. Did he hurt you? Well, he got me a couple of good ones. They didn't got me nothing, but I could feel that he was a good hitter. Lester, enjoy this moment. You're the new Commonwealth Junior Lightweight Champion. Lester Ellis, ladies and gentlemen. Ron, we might go back to you for a